Fishermen on the Chesapeake Bay say they started catching blue catfish about four years ago, and now they're becoming a big part of the solution. Okay. It's a beautiful day for fishing on the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, I got it. But this is no ordinary catch. This is the blue catfish, an invasive species that eats anything in its path. These are actually a game fish. They're attacking other fish. But sometimes when we cut them open, they'll have 10 to 15 small crab in one fish. Multiply that by how many thousands are out there. So it's definitely a problem. See the mouth? If you can picture a three or four inch blue crab can go right in there and their jaws are strong enough to crush it. This picture was sent to us by another fisherman showing several crabs in the stomach of a blue catfish. The species was introduced on the western shore of Virginia as a sport fish in the early 1970s. They had no idea it would migrate elsewhere. When they were introduced, it was thought because they're primarily um, restricted to freshwater that they would stay high up in the tributaries. Turns out they're a lot more resilient than folks anticipated and they were able to get further down to the bay. Sean Corson, director of the NOAA Chesapeake Bay office, says they are rapidly multiplying here and putting pressure on many species and the bay's ecosystem. They're encouraging commercial and recreational fisheries to get them out of the water. It's kind of been labeled as public enemy number one when it comes to the blue crab population. We'll portion them out from anywhere from four ounces to eight ounces, for, depending on the customer. Nick Hargrove, owner of Tillman Island Seafood, says there is an estimated 150 million pounds of blue catfish in the Chesapeake. He says fishermen need to harvest 15 million pounds a year to keep the population at bay. His company processes about 10,000 pounds of blue catfish a day and shares it with food banks, schools and restaurants. I do think it's a good thing that we um, are trying to recognize this fish as a issue to come. We don't want to be Chesapeake Bay home of the blue catfish. We want to be the Chesapeake Bay home of the blue crab. Meanwhile, Skip says you can do your part by buying blue catfish at your local fish shop or asking restaurants to carry it. We might be able to eat our way out of the problem or at least put a dent in it once we get a good market form. For more information on the blue catfish and the efforts to control it, you can find a link on our website, WBALTV.com. On the Chesapeake Bay, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Kim, thank you. So according to the government agency, NOAA Fisheries, blue catfish, they can grow to more than 100 pounds and get up to five feet long. Their lifespan is five to 10 years, but some have been known to live up to 25 years.